Hi, Waymaker families. I'm Lauren, and I'm your preschool director. And I'm so thankful that you've put this content in front of your kids this week. We appreciate you taking time out of your day to be part of our family, even though you're far away. As you guys are walking through these weeks at home, we will be praying for you and providing you with content on how to manage yours and your little one's feelings. We hope you enjoy these videos. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and He loves me. When I look up, 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 I know He's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's Word and I search for Him, He rewards me. Cause He loves me. God made me, He made everything. God loves me, He can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere, and He loves me When I look up, 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 I know He's real When I look down, 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 I believe what I found When I look in God's Word and I search for Him He rewards me, cause He He's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's Word And I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me My name is Megan and I am so glad you're here. Today we are going to have so much fun together learning what it means to be made in God's image. Because when God made humans, He made us to be like Him. We can think, be creative, have emotions and feelings like God. And God loves us so much that He wants us to think and do things like Him. God loves you so much, that's why He made you. There's a song that reminds us of God's love for us and I would just love to sing it with you.
Wow, great singing and dancing. Go ahead and sit down now. We are loved by God. That's why he made us. And you know how I know that God made humans? It's because of a story that comes straight out of this book. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible, that's right. And the Bible is God's special book that tells us stories about real people and places. Nothing in the Bible is pretend. And I think that's pretty awesome. And the story we'll learn about today is about the first two people God made. Their names are Adam and Eve. So put on your listening ears and your thinking caps and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Adam and Eve. God made the whole world and everything in it. He made the sun and the stars in the sky. He made the fish in the sea and the animals that walk on land. He made every tree and flower. God also made man. Hi. God said, let us make man to be like us. They will reign over all the animals and fish of the world. So God created man and woman. Hi. Oh, hi. The first man was named Adam. That's me. And the first woman was called Eve. That's me. Then God blessed them and gave Adam and Eve jobs to do. Let's do this. They were supposed to take care of all the animals that God had created, like the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Adam and Eve were also supposed to have children to fill the earth with more people. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. Wow, when God made the world, he said that it was very good. And when he made Adam and Eve, he loved them so much. And he loves you. God loves everyone he makes. Because of that, we can love everyone too. To help us remember this Bible story, Gus is going to teach us how to draw a special picture. Today, we are going to draw the first woman God ever made. Eve. So make sure you have your paper, crayons, and markers, and let's get ready to draw with Gus. Hi guys, it's me, Gus. Today we're drawing the first woman God made, Eve. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna start in the middle of the paper so we can make her nose. Let's start with an upside down U first like this. And now, let's make a C starting at the bottom of this line and keep going around to the bottom and make the lines connect. Now we're gonna draw our eyes. So make two big circles on each side of her nose. One and two. Next, draw two smaller circles in the big circles and color them in. Oh, and Eve has pretty eyelashes. So go on the side of her eyes and do three curved little lines like this. Yeah. What should we do next? Oh, let's make her face. Go near the top of the page and do a big curved line like that. Go around the side of the eye, past her nose, and start to curve under, but stop right here. Nice. Now I think we should make her mouth. She smiles, so let's do two curved lines like this and fill them in. <laughs> She's so happy. I forgot her eyebrows. Oh, go back above her eyes and do two slightly curved lines. Glad we remembered those. Now Eve has curly looking hair, so we're gonna start by doing the hair above her eyebrows with three big U's in a row. Yeah. Ooh, let's do a line near the side of her face to make her ear. So a line there, and then do a backward C. Go back to the end of your last U of her curly hair and do a straight line down, just past her eye, and then more curls. So do some small curved C's down the side of her face toward her chin and keep going down. Yeah. And go back up to the line next to her ear and we get to do more curly haired lines down this way. And now we can finish her hair. Go to the top of her head, do some more curved lines all the way around and down to the bottom. Yeah, you did it. Okay, Eve has some more hair on this side of her face. So go to about here Go down and do the same curly haired shapes this way and keep going. Yay, we finished her hair. And there we go, it's Eve. Nice drawing, friends. Bye. I 
I just love drawing with Gus, and I'm sure you guys made some great pictures of Eve. Now, just like Eve was made in God's image, we are made in God's image, and we can be more like God when we love people. That's why he made us, so we can love him and everyone he made. That reminds me of our Bible verse, and I really want to show you guys, but we have a little problem. It's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them? Grab some bubbles of your own and have fun popping them. Let's go. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees, ah, <laughs> Pop them over here. Pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere, yay! Did I get them all? Hey, you did it! Now we can see our Bible verse, which is Ephesians 2.10. And it says, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. That was a long verse, but don't worry. I have a special way for us to remember it, by singing it. So stand up with me and let's sing Ephesians 2.10. This song is Ephesians 2.10. It's all about how we are God's masterpiece, the best thing that he has made. So we're gonna get out our paintbrushes and dance with our paintbrushes. Can you move them around like this? Good job. Let's sing, for we are God's masterpiece. For we are God's For we are God's masterpiece. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew. In Christ Jesus, yeah. So we can do the good things. Thumbs up. So we can do the good things. The good things he planned for us. Long ago. Alright you guys, we're gonna sing out Ephesians 2.10 again. I want everyone to sing it out as loud as you can. Ephesians 2.10. Good job. Alright, now we're gonna go down really low. Can you get even lower? And we're gonna jump. Here we go. One, two, three, jump! Alright, let me see you dancing and painting. Good job. Can we go in a circle? Let's sing, for we are God's masterpiece. Everyone together. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew. In Christ Jesus, yeah. So we can do the good things, thumbs up. So we can do the good things, the good things he planned for us. Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. All right, we're going to sing Ephesians 2.10 again. I want to hear everyone sing it out. Here we go. Ephesians 2.10. All right, let me see you painting. And can you paint in a circle? Oh, 
All right, great singing and dancing. You can all sit down now. We sang that we are God's masterpiece. Did you know that a masterpiece is a very special work of art? That's right, every person you see, God made and he says they are his masterpiece. And he made them because he loves them. And we can love people too. I think it's so cool that when God made me and you, he said we are very special and we are his masterpiece. You know, my friends Jim and Gift have a special studio where they make all sorts of special things. And today, Melly is going to make something special with them. Maybe they'll make their own very special masterpiece. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and let's check out Let's Make It. Hi friends! I am Gift. And I'm Jim. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Let's, Let's Make It Studio. Today we are going to make something really special. And we have a special friend joining us today. I think she's logging on right now. Hi! Hey, hi Melly. Hi Gift and Jim. Oh, and hi friends. I'm so excited to make something with you guys. Us too. Now today we are talking about how we are all made in God's image. What does that mean? Being made in God's image means we are all made to be like God. Yeah, and we can be like God in the things we do, say, and think. Oh, neat! And so today, we are going to make some self-portraits to remind us of that. So get ready to paint yourselves. <laughs> like paint our faces? Fun! I did that once, but I got a bunch of paint in my nose but I'll do it. <laughs> I don't mean we're painting our faces. I mean, we're painting pictures of ourselves. That's what a self-portrait is. But they aren't your average self-portraits. What are they then? Come with us and we'll show you. Oh. Whoa, that's a big piece of paper. Yes, that's because we are going to make a big self-portrait. We are going to lay down on this paper and we are going to outline ourselves. And Melly, you can do it at home too. Yay, let's make it. Now here comes the fun part. Let's color them in. We can use crayons, markers, or even paint. Let's go. Wow, I like your self-portraits. I like how you made your hair in yours, Jim. And Gift, I love your smile. I love your orange spots, Melly, <laughs> and your purple fur. I love that all of our self-portraits look different, and that is a good yeah. thing. God loves how we are all different, and because we are all made in God's image, he wants us to love everyone. God really wants us to love everyone? Yes, he does. Wow, that sounds fun. I want to love everyone. But how do I do that? Well, you can show people you love them when you treat people the way you want to be treated. God made each of us special, and we can thank God for making so many different people in his family. Now we're done with our time today. Friends, thanks for joining us for Let's Make It. Yeah, this was so fun. Oh, and I wanted to say that I love each and every one of you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Wow, those were some fun and very special and very large self-portraits. I think that it was pretty special to make a self-portrait. They were reminded that every detail, their hair, their smiles, their color, everything about them is because that's the way God made them. Everything about you is the way God made you too. And God says you are his masterpiece. Remember, God loves you and he made you. And God loves hearing from you too. So let's talk to God right now by praying to him. Let's put five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for loving me and for making me so I can be more like you. Lord, thank you for loving me. Help me to love other people the way you do too. So Lord, we just thank you and we love you. Amen. I hope you have a great week. Remember God loves you and he made you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. 
Thank you so much for being here with us this week. We really appreciate you joining us, even if it's from far away. We hope that we get to see you in person soon. But in the meantime, throughout the week, you can see us on Instagram or Facebook and follow along with what we're learning. And then if you've got any prayer requests that you want to send in, please email me at lauren.mcquillan at waymaker.church. We would love to hear from you. You guys have a great week. Bye.